A former insurance agent is blowing the whistle on Triple A. The agent has filed a class action lawsuit claiming the Auto Club of Southern California penalized agents for selling policies to customers without prior insurance. NBC4's Patrick Healy is live at the Consumer Watchdog offices in Santa Monica to explain the lawsuit. Patrick? Good. We had a chance to speak with that woman at some length, and there are implications here, but the crux is her allegation that the commissions the Auto Club pays to its agents for writing new insurance policies are much less if the driver has not been previously insured. Now, Jill Rogers says she worked for three years at the Auto Club's Costa Mesa call center before she left a year ago. She contends agents got only $20 commission for a new policy for a previously uninsured driver, $100 or more if the driver had been insured. Her attorney showed a blow-up of a scorecard the Auto Club allegedly uses to determine commissions. Item 5, persistency, gets the most points. Rogers said that encourages agents to give the uninsured short shrift. A lot of the agents would hang up on customers um, because they didn't want to take the time to write that $20 policy when they could get the next phone call that could be a $100 policy. Did you hang up? No. An insurance company cannot take into consideration the absence of prior automobile insurance. That's what the law says. And by creating the system, that's exactly what the auto club has done. Did you ever discuss this with your supervisors that, hey, you're asking me to observe something that I don't think is legal? Um, it would come up in discussions, but it was always swept underneath the table. So the lawsuit that has been filed by Rogers, an attorney, says it has two goals. Number one, for the agents who were underpaid, allegedly, and also uh, to get the auto club to stop changing this policy, which they say indirectly discourages selling policies to drivers who are previously uninsured. Now, we contacted the auto club for comment. The auto club says it wants to review this lawsuit before it comments on the specifics. But the auto club maintains that it has been and remains committed to following the provisions of Proposition 103, that initiative passed a quarter century ago. Live at the uh, Consumer Watchdog offices in Santa Monica, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News.